afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Cincinnati Reds and the Chicago Cubs. Alongside Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa and Danny, as pitching matchups go, it doesn't get much better than what we've got here for this one. Well, Matt, these are two of the best in the business, two guys that throw a lot of strikes, and if their game is on, we should have a very low-scoring ball game with these two elite starting pitchers. Major League Baseball on the show starts now. Kyle Hendricks is on the mound for the Cubs in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy's a throwback to when you didn't have to throw the ball through a brick wall. Great assortment of pitches, Kyle Hendricks. He sinks it, he cuts it, has a great changeup, moves the ball in, out, up, and down. Certainly won't blow up a radar gun, but you know what you're going to get every five days from this guy? As consistent a starting pitcher as there is in the league right now. Stepping up is Jesse Winker. He will lead this one off today. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. First pitch, 4 o'clock. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Batting second, the white fielder, number two, Nick Castellanos. Up next, Nicholas Castellanos. First pitch on its way. Our temperature at first pitch and even 70 degrees here this afternoon. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A bit of an ill advised swing that time as that ball got in on him. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Clyde Washington. You know, Dero, he is a pitcher's best friend, Clyde Washington. Down in the strike zone, he'll definitely call that ball right at the knees. If he's consistent with it, Dan, which Clyde always is, I'm okay with it. Well, that's a pitch right there you got to just lay off. There's a good chance he's going to throw it on 0 and 2. And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. The count now at 2 and 2. Down the third baseline. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. Throw will not be in time at first. A good effort that time, but not enough to prevent them from getting a one-out base runner. In is Joey Votto now. His matchup numbers with Hendricks. He brings a big batting average of 367. He's also hit three home runs. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. He swings and misses. Throw down. It bounces, but he's out. Nice play there to pick the throw and put the tag on quickly. Well, so much for that first hit of the game. Tried to press their luck and move him up to second with the steal, but it didn't work out. This is swung on and missed as they jump ahead of Otto here. 0 and 2. I know this guy has a lot of weapons on the mound, but what makes him so successful is that he's aggressive in the zone, getting ahead, forcing action. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And he takes strike three called as Clyde Washington's strike zone may have expanded a bit there, and the inning is over. Reds go down quietly. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No score. Luis Castillo, the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What do you have for us on him, Danny? 
hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on. But I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. It'll lead things there off here go. in the bottom Robert half Cubs. of the first. The center fielder, Ian Happ. Now here's the pitch. And he offers it the circle change and misses 0 and 1. One ball and one strike to the Cubs leadoff batter. Hey they tried to tie him up on that last pitch so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work but I like the idea behind it. Hap with a two and one count now. Back up the middle and a base hit so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Hey this game starting off exactly the way they want it to lead off single in the bottom of the first after their pitcher went out there and threw a donut on the board boys are flying around. Here's the young catcher Wilson Contreras as he'll take one up in the zone but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Hap gets his lead at first nobody out. Foul tip held on to behind the plate at strike two. Job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. A ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes. Lifted in the air to right field. Castellanos will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. His prior history in this matchup, he's got five base hits in 24 at bats. He's also been a strikeout victim six times. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Too high. One and zero. Oh. The pitch is circle changed just a bit inside, and it's two and zero oh now. Nope. Three and zero. Oh. We're seeing a good A.B. here from the three hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. Here it comes the 3 0 he is taken strike one. The 3 1. A swing and a miss, and that'll fill the count at three and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Once again, a three two. Lifted the other way out to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He makes the running play. Two down. The throw is wild and he gets away. That is cool. 
And now Chris Bryant. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. As a look, now the pitch. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. Strike called, two and one. A runner on first with two away. Bryant looking at a three and one count. When a pitcher puts you in a proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. Full count, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. Oh man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with a man in scoring position. So now here is Jock Peterson looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. First delivery to him. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. After the walk and with runners on the bags, he couldn't afford to fall behind here. Nice job of jumping ahead with strike one. Next pitch will be number 24 in this long first inning. And he falls behind 0 oh and 2. Now the 0 and 2. And it's 1 and 2. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. Clearly fired up to work out of that jam. We're off to the second, scoreless on the show. Cubs strand a couple. We are still scoreless. Ready now for Cincinnati. Eugenio Suarez. His matchup numbers with Hendricks. He's collected 11 hits in 41 ABs. Two of those hits were for home runs. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Here's a changeup to start the second, but that misses. It's a ball and no strikes. Fastball at 88 that time. A ball and a strike. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And he fouls this one off. And he gets under this one a bit as this is lifted into center field. And he will make the catch while ranging backward as he just put the glove up and hauled it in for the first out. That is it. The third baseman, Mike Mustafa. So one down no one aboard and standing in the left handed hitting third baseman Mike Moustakas. First pitch of the A.B. now. And he takes ball one.
2 0 now. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2 0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. No score here as we play inning number two. 3 and 0 now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. And this will be fouled away. The 3 1. Bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first and get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Now at the plate, here is Nick Senzel. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. First pitch of the A-B on its way. Too low, 1-0. One ball, no strikes. A ball and a strike. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. At strike two on a well placed changeup around the knees. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. One, two, three, go the Reds. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here's Javier Baez in his career versus this pitcher. He's totaled four hits in 25 tries. He's also gone down on strikes five times. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Now a circle change, but he takes it low, ball two. 2-0 two -oh count, the pitch. A bouncer up the middle. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Count leverage right there, sitting dead red fastball, and he didn't miss it. Nice swing right there, driving it into the outfield for a knock. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Baez aboard here at first with nobody out. And there he goes towards second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Not in time as he steals second. You know, I like the aggressiveness there. They haven't cracked the scoreboard at this point, so it's clear they're trying to manufacture something by forcing the action. We'll see if it works out for them. Two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Now the three and two pitch. And another foul ball. No one out with a runner at second. Full count still. Hit on the ground. 
ground out to short. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Boy, what a battle there, Dero. Several pitch at bat right there. He the threw everything but the kitchen sink, hey, and he was still able to get an Maybe. RBI base hit. And, Dan, I can't tell you, the longer the A-Bs go, usually, I'll tell you, you get in that swing mode where if he throws the rosin bag, you're pulling the trigger on it. Wait for him to settle in his zone and not come outside of it and end up getting a knock. At the plate now, David Bodie. As he'll take a look at a high strike here on the outside corner, it's 0-1. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. The 0-2 pitch fouled off. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. Another 0 2 home. Now a fastball here that'll wisely lay off, and it's 1 and 2. High fastball right there with a two strike count. You know what that might be doing? Setting up the next pitch could be that hard slider down and away. Something breaking down and away off the plate. And there's a base hit on the line. He'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball no middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball, and delivers a hard hit line drive. Stepping in now, Kyle Hendricks. The 0 1 pitch. And he pops up the bunt attempt. There is Mustakas to look it in for the first out. Now batting, the center fielder, Ian Pass. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up the former first rounder and Pittsburgh area native, Ian Happ. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ran the circle change in on him, a ball and no strikes. Second inning here as the Cubs lead this one early 1-0. One and that's right there, and we're even at one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Count remains two and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. On the ground to second base. This could be two. There's one. Relay to Votto's in time at first, and it's a double play. Side retired. Like clockwork, a four to six to three double play to end the threat. More baseball on the show right after this.
top of the third set to get underway and in to swing the bat next is Jonathan India. Jonathan. And now the first pitch. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And he misses there, 1 and 2. Tries to get him to chase the curve ball away, but it breaks outside, 2 and 2 now. Into the windup and the pitch. Still even at two and two. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. This one's down to third. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Next up is Tucker Barnhart. His matchup numbers with Hendricks. He's got 12 hits in 43 tries. He's gone down on strikes 12 times as well. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0 and 1. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So here now is the pitcher, Luis Castillo. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. And low, it's a ball and a strike. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Now the pitch. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first, and no swing. It's ball two. Here now the two-two. Swung on and missed strike three. Reds are down in order. They trail this one one to nothing. Welcome back to the north side of Chicago back here at Wrigley Field as we check in with Heidi. Thanks Matt in between innings I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Bottom of the inning now, and Wilson Contreras digs in at the plate. The catcher, Wilson Contreras. First offering. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that Number fastball was way Number behind 24. him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something Rizzo. off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Wind up and the 0 1. Line but speared on a hop. Throw gets him two down. Up next to the top. Into the box. The Chris Bryant season. worked a walk Red. his first time up. Ryan.
Now the pitch. And this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all. It's strike one. Well, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Whoop, up and in. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. Cubs are down in order, but they hold a 1-0 lead. And stepping in, Jesse Winker comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Jesse First pitch on its way. Hot shot towards the hole. And that is through into right field for a single. So it's a leadoff base hit, and it makes for a good start to the inning for Cincinnati. We take a look at the numbers up to this point. You see he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward, but I'm not betting against him. Nick Castellanos now. As he'll watch a sinker here that misses its ball one. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Now the 1 0. Hit sharply on the ground. One there. On to Rizzo at first, and they get them both. That's a great example there of why the sinker is such an effective pitch. The hitter's eyes see it higher in the zone than it ends up, and that makes it real tough to square up. So up steps the former MVP, Joey Votto. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, Matt, that, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two out rally started. First pitch on its way. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Vada will take the turn and head for second now. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. As we take a look at the replay here, you can see that it was a hanging changeup. Nice job of staying back on it, and he's able to tattoo it for a double. And you know, if that pitch would have supplied more velocity, it might have been out of here. He hit it right on the screws. To the plate now, Eugenio Suarez. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. They'll go to work on getting that tying run home from second. The 0 1 offering. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. The Reds down to their last strike. Late making contact on that swing and will do it again on one and two. There's the heavy sinker right there. What makes that pitch so difficult to hit is not only does it change eye levels, it actually changes plane. You go to hit it in one position, and it's six to eight inches dropping off the table and chasing your hands. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. Oh. 
Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on to first. He'll be in time to get him. And the Cubs get a complete game shutout from their starter as this ball game is over. A single run good enough to do it today. 1-0 the final score. The Cubbies took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Kyle Hendricks gets the W on the mound. Luis Castillo worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. Final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. One run.